They told me. Son, you're special. You were born to do great things. You know what? They were right. Hello, I'm David, and I'm taking a look at the Bioshock remaster and seeing how it compares uh, to the original. Uh, I'm recording this on a PC uh, using Shadowplay on a 970 uh, GTX. Uh, my computer also has an i5 processor and 16 gigabytes of RAM, and I'm just uh, running the standard Steam version of the game, no mods or anything like that. Uh, one thing that stands out at the very start of the game here is uh, pay attention to this fan as it flies in through the sea. See, that looks alright, you know, spinning through there. There's lots of water effects. In the remastered version, it looks a little bit uh, weird to me. Looks like a bit of a cheaper effect. Um, in the original version here, this uh, smoke and f looks like a relatively simple f uh, fogging effect. Uh, water, fire, all looks fine. Uh, when we turn around here, there's a little bit of uh, the model of the aeroplane, which is uh, obscured by fire. And as we go to the uh, remaster, the smoke looks quite different. Uh, you can see just uh, the fire there in the middle. Uh, the water and fire still looks relatively similar, but when we turn around here, the uh, model of the aeroplane isn't obscured by fire, so you can see that there. Uh, quite an impressive effect at the very start of the game is this uh, this uh, bit of, of fire that comes down. It's supposed to kind of direct you to the uh, right. In the original version, doesn't qu look quite so dramatic. Uh, comparing the sort of lighting on the outside here, uh, it looks a little bit more um, dynamic in the uh, remaster. You can see a bit more detail in the shadows where it's a bit more uh, contrasting in the original version. Uh, this shot really shows off the expanded uh, field of vision in the game. Uh, when we head towards this door you can see the textures are a lot more of a higher quality. This is a relatively striking sequence at the start of the game where you see this big snarling uh, statue of Andrew Ryan staring down at you. Uh, the uh, lighting effects on the top left there on the stone looks a little bit like the wet stone effect that a lot of uh, Unreal games have. When you look at it on the left hand side here it looks a lot more natural. Uh, you can see that the banner is kind of blowing in the wind a bit as well and it looks a little bit more worn. And this uh, plaque here is a bit more scratched and detailed. Uh, this is a remastered version. That great chain uh, wall thing there looks a little bit nicer in the remastered version. You can tell the textures are a lot higher quality. Uh, again, the stonework in the remastered version here, a lot nicer. Here we can see the uh, comparison between the sort of main parts, uh, the kind of a very striking sequence at the start of the game. You can see in the remastered version there's a lot more sea plant work and a lot more seaweed and things. You can see some starfish on the bottom left here now. There you go, there you go, there you go. Now you can't see that in the original. Uh, there's lots of jellyfish in this remastered version. I think they're kind of throwing a lot more uh, sea creatures in just because, you know, they can. Uh, you can see some dirt textured on the glass on the remastered version as well as some fish in the top left hand side of the screen. Uh, again, a lot more plant work. Uh, and the to me, the um, neon effects in the remastered version just seem to pop a little bit more. Uh, again, probably increased advances in uh, lighting and things like that. And again, a lot more seaweed and uh, aquatic plant life coming in as we enter Rapture here, which uh, is absent from the original version of the game. And uh, you can also see a cheeky little starfish on the right there. The textures at the top of the bath here looks relatively okay for a game which is... Um, I think it was released in 90, uh, no, 2007, but in the remastered version you can tell that the uh, texture of the bathysphere is a lot nicer. Now one weird thing that the uh, PC version of Bioshock had was when you bumped into uh, objects or when you uh, killed an enemy, it uh, had a weird, almost like a dropped frame, so you saw there it doesn't look quite as nice as a remastered version. I believe that was because the um, the game was originally designed for uh, consoles, 
uh, and was tied to 30 frames a second and I believe those animations are also kind of tied to that frame rate so when you try to play the PC version at 60 frames a second it was still uh, held to that sort of weird frame rate so that's why it causes uh, some weird animation but when the kind of characters are in motion they seem to run fine there it's only see it seems to be with um kind of passive objects so when you're walking into uh, suitcases or when an enemy dies so a nice bit here yeah, you can see definitely tell that that sofa coming down there looks a little bit weird when we see it again it looks a lot nicer in the remastered version So that's a lot nicer. And it's also kind of based on physics as well. So each time you see that, it does change slightly. We'll see another version of that later. We're seeing an enemy get killed. And you can see when they fall over, it looks a little bit odd. In the remastered version, though, it looks just fine when you kill uh, a splicer. So he falls over quite nicely. There's a lot of neon effects in this game, but I think they do just uh, pop a little bit more in the remastered version. Again, probably enhancements in lighting. Uh, they look a little bit more dynamic. Another comparison here, you can definitely tell the expanded uh, field of vision. Uh, in the remastered version, when he goes stumbling back, you can see there's a lot more uh, changes in lighting. So you can tell here, like, he's going kind of dark and then but the the shadows in the original version are staying relatively flat uh, you can see a relatively close-up uh, model here of a splicer if you pay attention to his shirt when he bends down again you can see it looks uh, a lot nicer in the remastered version and the blood textures look a lot nicer as well uh, this uh, doesn't quite show a big difference in the remastered version uh, again the expanded field vision is quite nice um, some of the shiny, the, her shiny kind of Adam collector is a lot nicer, but uh, it doesn't look too different. Uh, this is quite an interesting one. The original version, the shadow seems a lot more, uh, doesn't seem quite as harsh in the remastered version. It's a lot more contrasting there. Uh, this is an effect I think looks quite uh, cheap in both the original and remaster. Although you can see there's a bit more lighting there. Still fish running away, but still just uh, coming in on the zip line effect. Uh, now the explosion in the background here looks a little bit nicer in the uh, original than it does in the remaster to to my eyes. Uh, see that looks a little bit just uh, kind, of, kind of weak to me. Here's another example of what happens when you kill an enemy. So he falls over there and it does seem like the animation is missing some frames. Whereas in the remaster he falls over just as you expect. Again, the lighting here looks a little bit different, so you can tell uh, the, the the banners in the background there, they're relatively flat in the original. Uh, but the splicer here is something I want to talk about. He looks a little bit more dynamic and a lot more um, striking than he does in the remaster. So those flags, they're blowing in the wind, but the splicer there doesn't look quite so exciting and quite so dramatic. Here's an interesting one. Uh, the shadow here looks perfectly fine in the uh, original version of the game, but when we come to the remaster, if you pay attention to her hand and her sleeve, you can see there's a break in the shadow there. But the, uh, the plant life here looks quite nice. As we come into the restaurant here, uh, relatively still looks quite nice in the original version of the game, despite the dated nature of the game. Uh, but coming in here, the, extend, the kind of better lighting and the expanded field of view just really kind of uh, draw it in. You can still see some of the uh, telltale uh, Unreal Engine pop. Uh, so that's a comparison between uh, Bioshock, the original version, and the remastered version. Uh, I still think that the original version is still quite a striking game, and some of the effects that seems to be changed look a little bit cheaper, but there's some quirks that have been ironed out as well, so that sort of change weirdness in the in the animation uh, has been sorted out, which is quite annoying in the original version of the game. But still, it plays like Bioshock. Uh, I played this a few times now, the, just kind of the opening sequences to kind of tell what the differences were, and it's still, it's, it's that game. So uh, let us know what you prefer in the comments below and see you again next time on whatever this is. Bye.